morning. It is now a more reasonable time. It's eight o'clock. Izzy and I were both ready to leave the house. We're just going down to the Margaret River main break, which is the major surfing spot here. Oh, well, not the major, but one of the big surfing spots. We might also have a look at the Margaret River flung into the ocean. And then, I don't know exactly, we'll see what the weather's doing and saying. There is um, a little town called Greystown, we might have a look, or Karamarup, which is kind of a quirky little town. It's full of cows and artisan stores and that sort of stuff, so we'll have a little look around. down to the river. Izzy's already walked in with her shoes and socks and everything on. So now she's a little barefoot girl because everything needs to dry. Yeah, better crack. Well hang out here for a little bit. Have a look at the peaceful river flowing along. And there's the ocean, that's right. Yeah, there's water in there. Izzy and I, we've made it to Kawarama. Right in time for the rain. It's a town full of plastic cows because its name is Kawarama. However, the name actually has nothing to do with cows. It's an Aboriginal name for the purple crowned lorikeet that lives in this area. But nevertheless, they had like some sort of promotion running here and now it's turned into the cow town. So it's actually called cow town. And I found this on the internet. The town was overrun in 2012 by 42 life-sized fiberglass Frisian cows and calves and the town gained Guinness World Record status in 2014 for the largest gathering of people dressed as cows. <laughs> 1,352 people in fact. Look, it is not ideal. It's, um, it continues to rain and the town is very very small there's not much to do especially not in rainy weather so we're leaving i don't know what we're doing now have a little look at Greystown. maybe the rain stops and we can go down to the beach for a little bit izzy and i are now in Greystown. it's not the best day for any of these activities it's windy it rains every now and then I'm sure it's quite scenic here any other day, but um, today is one of those days. <laughs> we'll just hang out here a little bit for the next half an hour or so and then we go home. I can't believe what I've just found, a bull end walking along the beach. This thing is huge, it was right next to it, but that means we're off. Alrighty, well this is it. We are ready to leave. We're going back towards Perth today. Um, I'm not sure, I might go to Dunsborough now, grab a coffee, have a little look at the beach. And after that we were thinking of maybe going um, very close by to a reptile centre. Just to have a little look, it's on the way. Something to do before Izzy um, hopefully he goes to sleep for quite a long time in the car. You ready to go? Okay. Yeah. Bye bye house. We're in Dunsborough now. We just had, it's beautiful. Look how far the tide goes at. I didn't even know. Um, we just had some breakfast, a second breakfast. I was always the one to find myself lost in one 
Izzy was pretty happy with herself. She was very keen on eating the crumpets. <laughs> And um, we'll just hang out here for a little bit, have a look at the beach. <laughs> Izzy's jumping about and then we're going to the reptile centre. I think I might have to come back for an actual holiday just here. Baby is of course on board. Here we are. On the sandbank. Wow. Sandbank. This is so cool. I'm very, very happy that I became. Yes, he seems to enjoy it. <laughs> to make sure she doesn't walk into the water again. What can you see? Where's the lizard? Just there. And where are the turtles? Can you say lizard? And can you say turtle? Turtle. Good girl. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it's all Western Australian animals. Um, all animals from Western Australia. We just heard about this on the crocodile. There's some snakes, some venomous snakes, and turtles, and tarantulas, and lots of lizards and dragons. How cool. Izzy is loving it. She keeps yelling out snake, frog. Can you say frog? Frog. Can you say Joe by the frog? <laughs> oh, that one's really dangerous too. Very poisonous. A mulga snake, a brown snake. Look, it's shedding its skin. Wow. It's like giving birth. We've just seen the snake shed its skin. And also doing a poop. I've never seen a snake do a poop. Wow, look at the tiger snake. Super, super venomous. Now, Izzy would like to pet the tiger snake. I told her it's not a good idea. And over there in the back, there, that's a dew guide. There's a dew guide. It's a turtle. <laughs> Do you want a turtle? We may have got me a turtle. <laughs> it's a hundred percent recycled materials. So there you go. Can you the turtle? <laughs> right. We're going to have some lunch and then we keep going. This was great. I am so glad we came here. I really recommend this. Gorgeous place. Super informative and Izzy was super super happy seeing all those animals and hold a snake, pet a snake and see the lizards being fed and the crocodile and everything she was the frogs she was pretty happy and it's really well maintained too. Awesome little place to stop it. Well it is now 12.30 and we are on our way back to Perth. Well in a second obviously right now I'm not driving. Let's see how fast we get through and how well Izzy behaves. Because there might be another three stops coming up, depending on how she sleeps. But I hope she sleeps a little bit at least, so I get a fair way. Well, Izzy and I, we've made it back to Perth. It's just three o'clock and it was a pretty good drive. She was a bit windy at the start, but then she fell asleep and then she was pretty happy when she woke up just sitting there. All right, that's it. That's it. Job's over. Say bye-bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> See you next time. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up because nothing was changing. But with you, it's so clear. And now that you're here, I see colors and never respect drum. Guess I finally learned my lesson.